let's go back to the first person mentioned in the litany. In 2 Samuel 11, we learn that David commits adultery with Bathsheba. David is frequently lifted up throughout the scriptures as a noble man, even being referred to as a man after God's own heart. For some David enthusiasts, his sin is shocking due to his reputation of being a righteous and godly man. Therefore, it is easy to turn and cast stones at Bathsheba for David's transgressions. So read the next three paragraphs. I need the three volunteers. So spontaneously, just can you read first? A common narrative surrounding Bathsheba is that she purposefully tempted David by bathing in his view. Bathsheba is often referred to as loose. She is blamed for David's sin. She is seen as manipulative, hoping to gain power from David. She is believed to be asking for it, since she was obviously bathing to capture David's eye. Volunteer hmm. 2. However, a contrasting version reads like this. David's dwelling is high on a hill, making it possible to peer into homes that were on the slope. Bathsheba is practicing the Jewish cleaning rituals after her menstrual cycle, not seeking out the gaze of David. When summoned to David's home, Bathsheba does not know what's in store. Thank you. Final chapter three. After Bathsheba's story, just compare Bathsheba's story to the story of the women three. three. I'm sorry. <laughs> After this event. After this event in Samuel, we never hear from Bathsheba. She is silenced. Due to the differing power between David and Bathsheba, sexual misconduct occurs. However, Bathsheba is the one shamed. She is the one who is asking for it. Compare Bathsheba's uh, story to the stories of women today. Mm -hmm. How women are often silenced and shamed when they experience sexual assault. How women are often seen as property. Can we learn any lessons from this story? Is there any ideas? Shall we discuss about this a little bit? <laughs> well, I'd like to confirm that I... Um, I visited the Ir David, the city of David, mm -hmm. which was uncovered archaeologically in the last 30 years. It's on the slopes below the temple in Jerusalem, mm -hmm. just outside of the Jewish quarter of old Jerusalem. And when I went on the tour, they said it was clearly on a slope. And they said, here is David's palace. And they mentioned the Bathsheba story, and they said he could see into every house on down the slope. So, He's a so creep. that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> he could see him, but he didn't have to, you know, seek her out after having, mm. and he didn't Watch have to, her right. anyway. So I'd like to confirm that. He could see he didn't have to look. <laughs> and then David right. murdered her husband. Yeah. Right. Well, I would like to say that the first thing I thought of that here is just turn on the news, you know, when you go home tonight. And we're getting the same thing these days. Women who are being, um, you know, basically uh, sexually uh, raped, you know, at, at some level. And then the people like that we shall um, name no names, you know, who has orange hair, um, just 